nature of insurance hazards peril and risk hazards a condition situa situation that creates or increases a chance of loss for example icy roads driven while intoxicated improperly stored toxic waste types of hazards include physical poor health overweight bind blind moral dishonesty drug alcohol abuse moral careless rec reckless driving jumping off a cliff stealing racing motorcycles carefree careless lifestyle this attitude <coughs> causes an indifference to loss loss is unintentional decrease in the value of an asset due to a peril peril in immediate specific event which causes loss such as an earthquake or a tornado perils can also be referred to as the accident itself risk the potential for loss speculative risk is a risk that presents both the chance for loss or gain gambling is an example speculative speculative risks are not insurable pure risk is the only insurable risk and pre presents a potential for loss only such as injury illness death elements of insurable risk loss must be due to a chance careless outside the insure insured control loss must be defined as measurable time place amount when payable loss must be predictable Stati statistically able to estimate the average frequency and severity loss cannot be catastrophic must be reasonable one trillion dollar policy is not reasonable loss exposure to be insured must be large ideally common enough that the insurer can pool many homogeneous or similar exposure units law of large numbers loss must be randomly selected fair proportion of good and bad risk adverse selection law of large numbers the large larger the amount of the of exposures that are combined into a group the more certainly there is to the amount of loss incurred in any given period the law of large numbers allows predecent of individuals and groups loss based on past experience an increase decrease an increased degree of accuracy in predicting loss in large groups adverse selection insurance must be minimal adverse selection which is defined as the tendency for poor rather than average risk to seek out insurance for example a person who takes 12 prescriptions is a poor risk if an insurer cannot compensate 
poor risk with better than average risk, then its loss experience will increase and its ability to pay claims may be compromised. Risk management is the process of analyzing exposure that creates risk and designating programs to handle them. Treat of risk and how to deal with risk. Avoidance. Avoid risk altogether. For example, you can avoid risk of getting injured in a car accident by never leaving the house. Reduction, take precaution, minimize severity of potential loss. For example, you can reduce the risk of getting injured in a car by taking public transportation. Retention, self-insure, accepting a risk and confronting it if it occurs. For example, if you would retain the risk of getting injured in a car accident by driving without insurance. Transferred, transference, make someone else responsible for a loss. For example, buying auto insurance transfers the cost associated with a car accident from the driver to the insurance company. Buying insurance is the best way to transfer risk. Risk pooling. Loss sharing, when a large group of people sp spread a risk for a small certain cost, is transferred risk from an individual to a group. For example, of risk sharing would be doctors pooling their money to cover malpractice exposure. Reinsurance. Insurers dealing with catastrophic losses through large reinsurance, which is defined as contractual agreements that transfer exposures from one insurer to another insurer. Principles of indemnity involves making an insurance insured who whole by restoring them to the same condition as before a loss. Economic Basics of Insurance Human Life Approach A method of determining the financial value of a person's life based on computing the family makes 50000 a year and the family would like to make sure that they are protected for 10 years in the event something happens to the main income earner. 50000 currently times 10 years equals $500,000 policy. Need basic value approach. A method of determining a person's financial value based on the amount of money needed for current and future expenses. These expenses include fi final expenses, spouse income, mortgage, college, education, retirement, charity donations. For example, a family would like to ensure that they can take care of five years of annual expense if someone were to happen, if, if something were to happen to the main income earner and they have an average of $60,000 worth of expenses per year. 60,000 expenses times five equals $300,000 insurance policy.